Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you five easy ways to balance your chakras and get out of the old way of the third dimension of having to do or work so hard to balance your chakras. Make it really easy and simple. The guides are saying that a lot of us are spending too much time focusing on how things should be done instead of being present with something and putting the intention. That's all that's needed in order to balance your chakras really quickly. One way is to get in the shower in the morning and just visualize the colors of the chakras coming out in the water. So you can start with, you know, your crown chakra and move down or your root chakra and move up, but just visualizing the colors of, um, well, the rainbow or the colors of the chakras, the seven main chakras uh, in the water. And it's, it's the intention of that's gonna balance my chakras and that's all that's needed. Another quick way is to go on YouTube and type in Tibetan singing bowls for the chakra balancing and listen to that while you're doing something in your daily um, activities. So you're not, not having to focus so much on one thing, but you can be doing something else at the same time and not, have to put so much stress if you can't fit it into your busy day to balance them. Another way is to wear colors. Um, you can wear like if you're you're having like some immune system issues, for example, you could wear turquoise um, for the thymus chakra. You could wear something blue for the throat chakra or green for the heart chakra. Um, a lot of people will like intuitively dress to match their aura and how they're feeling. Um, so you can use colors of uh, clothes uh, to balance them and also colors like if you want to paint you can use those colors while you're painting or playing with with um, some paints you can just go to the dollar store and grab canvas and and some paints and just use those um, in kind of like a meditative state and and when you're playing with the paints you're going to raise your vibration and the color of the energies of the paints are going to balance your chakras. So it's putting the intention um, out there. Another way like to use a pendulum, if you want to use your pendulum to balance your chakras, you just hold your hand in front of the chakra. I'm going to show you um, if I was to do like my throat chakra, I'd hold up a pendulum and visualize like blue light uh, in a uh, clockwise circle going through my throat chakra blue spinning fan of light and then I ask one of my guides like maybe I'd ask Jesus to bring in uh, divine healing frequencies or the white light uh, to clear out any blocks in that chakra and as you can see as I'm visualizing it the pendulum's moving in a clockwise position to show me that this is working my visualization is pushing that energy through and when you use the pendulum it kind of gives you the belief that it's actually working so um, if you want to use the pendulum you can do that and also uh, eating foods with the colors of the chakras and at the end of this video I'm going to show you how to make chakra stew so I'm going to go inside and um, I've got my stew all ready and I'll show you really quickly how to make chakra stew so when you eat the stew all your chakras will be balanced and so it's that easy the guides are saying that a lot of us are still in that third dimension way of everything has to be difficult and I'm not doing something right and they want you to know it's always your intention and you can't get it wrong if you put the intention that my chakras are balanced and I know that that um, there's divine energy flowing through them at all times it, it will be it will happen and so if you don't have the time because you're a mother or you, you you know you're working a lot of jobs or you've got a lot of stuff going on in your life you can make um, like your spiritual practice really simple without anything complicated so just ask where you're making things complicated and if you're making it complicated you're probably practicing a third dimension reality but if it's easy and there's not much complication to it and there's love and it's the intention it's a fifth dimension reality so just making everything a little bit easier and i'll see you in a minute inside we're gonna go make some chakra stew thanks for watching So now we're inside and I'm going to show you how to make chakra stew. So this is using colored vegetables to balance your chakras. 
And uh, for the root chakra, we have the red potatoes right here. And there's red meat over here. If you're a vegetarian, you'll have your red potato. And to balance the next chakra is your sacral chakra. We have some orange carrots. And the solar plexus, we have yellow carrots. For the heart chakra, we have green celery and also green spices. So we have sage and summer savory. So those two spices are both green, help balance the heart chakra. And then the throat chakra, we have blue potatoes. So these blue potatoes, they look indigo. So we're gonna use those to balance the, the third eye as well. But the color, they're called blue potatoes. So you have the vibrational frequency of the word blue. Um, and that will balance the throat chakra and also the third eye. And then we have violet or purple potatoes to balance the crown chakra. So I'm just adding the water to cover the vegetables. And then I'll put my meat in there. Salt. some pepper or summer savory So now we're over here at the crock pot and you can see I have the stew boiling nice. Um, usually I use uh, ground sage and I had, um, I didn't have ground sage. I had like the leaves of sage. So what I did is I put a leaf in and I'm going to remove the leaf of sage. Usually I would have like a quarter teaspoon of sage and a quarter teaspoon of summer savory. Um, Okay, so now I'm going to remove some of the water. So a half a cup of water I'll take out. So I just removed half a cup of the stew water, like the water that was in the stew. I'm gonna add a quarter cup of cold water to that. And then I'm going to add about two to three tablespoons of flour and mix that in until the flour dissolves. And then I'm going to slowly pour it back into my uh, stew. I want to make sure all the chunks of flour are out. You don't want a chunky flour stew. But this uh, flour will thicken up uh, the stew, make it nice and thick. You can also add a little bit more spice at this point if you want more spice. So I'm just going to slowly pour it back in and get it all mixed up in there. And that's going to thicken up over a few minutes. And I'm going to bring it back to a boil. Okay, so I'm put the cover back on, bring it back to a boil, and then I'm going to add my dumplings. So to make the dumplings, we have a cup of flour and two teaspoons of the baking powder. That's right there. and a dash of salt and then pour 
pour in three quarters cup of milk. Mix that together. It says to mix with a fork, so I'll try it with a fork. And I'm gonna put it in the crock pot as the bo water's boiling. Okay, so now the stew is starting to boil again. I'm going to add the dumplings. So I just put like a table size spoon. Of each dumpling. Okay, so once you get all your dumplings in, what you do is I always like to add a little bit more salt and pepper to the top of them and um, a little bit more of some summer savory or sage on the top just to give some flavor to the dumplings because they're kind of bland. So I'm just going to add a little bit of the summer savory just to make it pretty and some more salt and pepper. Okay, now I'm going to put the cover back on and let it boil for 15 minutes without taking the cover off. So the dumplings have been boiling for 15 minutes, so they're done. So here's what the stew looks like. And my dumplings are a little bit darker because I've used organic flour, so it's, it's not as white. Um, so your dumplings might be a little bit whiter. And then now that it's all done, I'm going to channel the violet flame, bring in St. Germain and channel the violet flame into our chakra stew and have this nice fall dinner. And thanks for watching, have a great night.